Okay, so let's just go A and X and delete everything from our scene. And now we can jump into top view and go shift A and bring in a plane. So let's just go S and five and scale up this uh, plane five times. And we also want to change our mode here from solid mode into render mode. Now what we can do is just bring up the timeline and then change the timeline into the shader editor and then just go new. So this little node setup here is going to be really easy. So for me, I like um, small node trees so I actually can remember it. So let's just go shift A here and bring in a color ramp. And we are going to need a born away texture node. And we also going to need a noise texture. So here we can just connect the vector from the noise into the vector of the one way and the distance of the one way into the factor of the color ramp and then the color of the color ramp into the base color of this principal BSDF. So now we have this blurry looking thing here. So let's just bring in the contrast of the color ramp. So we can make these two lovebirds meet in the middle and then just give each other a little kiss on the cheek here. And you can also flip this uh, around like that. That will give it a, just a little bit more interesting look. So let's move over to this um, born away texture here. And here we can go down to the scale and we can just uh, create uh, so if you hold down shift here, you're just going to have more control when you're playing around with uh, this value. So we're just going to go for something like that. But that looks pretty cool. And what we are going to animate, or the best way to do uh, animation here, is to change this um, noise texture from 3D into 4D, and then animate this uh, double view value. We're also going to do uh, a second animation a little bit later. But first off, we're just going to show you how we can animate uh, this abstract pattern here. So let's just go and select it like that and delete everything and then go hash and frame and then divided by a certain number. And in this case, I found that 4000 is a really good number because that will make the animation move in a really nice and flowy way. So if you bring this to a higher amount, the animation will move slower. If you bring it down to say 1000 or even 100, it will just move way too fast. But um, yeah, so the lower the amount, the uh, faster the animation. So let's just put this to 4000 and then go enter. Now, if I hit space, we're gonna have these abstract uh, patterns moving in a really cool looking way like that. So this is a little bit too dark. So let's go into the world here and then just uh, bring in some light to the scene. So let's set this uh, background to tree like that. Jump back into the object and into a little node setup here. So we have a really cool looking abstract animation here, but we can make this even a little bit more interesting and cool looking. So let's change, open up a window here and just change this to the timeline. And it's always nice to have some frames to work with. So I'm just gonna set this to 1000 like that. And if we select this noise texture node, so you probably know about this, but you can go control and T that will give us this texture coordinate and the mapping node. If you don't know about this, just go edit and then preferences and add on and type in node Wrangler and check this box here and also check for autosave. So now what we can do is also animate a certain direction. So we, let me just hold on shift so you can see here. So we can make this move in a certain direction like that. So if we go to this X here and then just delete everything, zoom in a bit there. So you can see what I'm doing. 
So let's just go hash and then frame. And if we want this animation to move slowly to the right, what we can do is just go um, minus here, and then set this to 2000 like that and go enter. So now we have um, this really cool looking flow effect. So from here, we're going to need a camera. So I'm just going to bring in a camera, go into top view and um, maybe place it somewhere around here. And if you want to render this out, uh, the first thing you want to do first is just go to render properties, open up this color management, and then set this look here to high contrast. It will just give it a more detailed kind of look. And from here, we can go down to the output, find a location here. You can render as a PNG or you can render as a video and open up the encoding and set this to MPEG 4 and then just go render animation like that. So I think that is all. Uh, have a great day and just play around with this uh, abstract pattern and see you in the next video.